how we started about going, putting on a show for this module, it was actually by a lot of us asking the question, what if we put on a show? And actually I had the idea of let's change this what if into let's actually do this. Working as a class on this production has been a really great experience. We're kind of blessed as a class of producers because we all have different strengths. So we've managed to function as a production company really well from writing to directing to producing to marketing the event. There was a lot of anxiety sort of pitching the idea because it was something which hasn't been done before. Um, but actually we found with this pitch that we're all really passionate about doing it. One of the things we started off was timeline in it because obviously to get theatre space booked uh, it was quite hard so once we secured that that was our main protocol and then once we got that it was actually working around what everyone wants to do within this process. I've been working with Geordie and Millie on this play and it's trying to get all of our visions and put them in as one to make it a whole show. It's been great that we've been able to work with so many new actors, especially for me, I've not worked with any of the actors before. Uh, it's also great that we get to work with near enough every course here at East 15. I think it's been really nice seeing loads of people from different courses come into the rehearsal room and work together on a play, you know, it's almost like we are in the professional world. Our casting panel uh, originally consisted of the three directors and then myself as a producer and Leah as a casting producer. Um, it was really important to get the directors, obviously because they're going to be working with the actors, but also get an outside view of how this whole process is going to work. Um, we were really fortunate that actually we had three casting days, two days for auditions and one callback day. Um, it was really exciting to see how many people we actually had wanted to audition. We also had some people send in them as a self-tape uh, due to their not being able to get here. Um, we saw a lot of applicants and it was really interesting to see how each actor had taken the role that we gave them um, and how uh, sometimes they did different gender roles and it was just exciting to see what the actors, how they sort of brought each character to life. We had like about 25 applicants, some self-tapes, um, and people have auditioned all across the board. Mm. They're going to get filled and people are excited. Uh, the main reason for doing a callback day was just to see uh, within the actors how they worked with each other. Uh, so some applicants did do pairs as an audition, but some just auditioned on their own. And we felt it was really vital, especially for Tiger and Genevieve, to get two actors that worked well chemistry-wise, as well as just working with each other. It's also been great that I've been able to collaborate with the actors as well. I mean, it's very much been like, okay, you know, we'll run it and then we'll see what works and we'll see what's natural. And, you know, I've been coming up with some ideas to tweak some of the pieces. The actors I've been working with, they've also been giving some great input as well for stuff that we can do and make the scenes funnier, more cohesive and better. So I've been working with Charlotte, who's a wonderful pop person in our venue space, who's got a lot of the pops originally. But one of our main challenges is we've got some knives that we use. Obviously knives are very dangerous, they're all blunted as well, but they have to be watched at all times. So I'm the one what looks after the knife on the night and during the run through as well. So yeah, I'm doing the costumes, um, loving it. Love a bit of dress up, who doesn't? Um, I've also been helping with a few other, the other like creative elements, so like helping put posts together. That was a really fun process. And I just like being creative, but just having a good time, you know? The costumes I made, trying to really like get the characters across and like their vibe. And, like I really enjoyed that process of like putting things together. And it's something that I definitely love to do in the future. Uh, I'm the head of the marketing department. And within that role, uh, you know, we've been posting on social media, we've been giving behind the scenes, and we managed to sell the show completely out in the first five days of our ticket sales, which is an incredible experience um, and something that we've been very proud of. It did kind of change things up with our strategic um, marketing plan. 
because obviously there's no need to sell the show anymore now that we've already sold it out. So it's been um, it's been fun to be in rehearsals with actors, kind of documenting behind the scenes, posting that on our creative producing Instagram. I think the most exciting thing about stage managing for Dimension and Dive This is the fact that it's a brand new show, it's a brand new play, no one's ever done it before. It's been written and created especially for this show. Um, and for us, so it's a brand new, no one's done it, so we're kind of having fun, playing around with it and having lots of different um, experiences with changing the set around and having different props and having a lot of different experiences. Uh, yeah, it's been a fun process. Um, it's been a challenging one as well. I mean, but it's been a lot of fun. And this is just like an hours long show that we just want people to come to the theatre for and just enjoy it and not take it too seriously. It's a farce, it's got slapstick comedy involved. It's got some, you know, really funny moments, some really nice moments as well. And it's just pure chaos, which is really what we're trying to blend all together in the rehearsal process. And overall, it's just been a really, really fun experience and it has been a pleasure sharing this with the rest of the class.